Hi everybody, uh, this is my fourth 2011 revised movie reviews. Uh, this one is not of a horror or an action movie, this one I thought make it a little different, I'd go for a comedy movie that I liked, and it's got some of my favorite actors in it, you have Eddie Murphy, you know, who does a lot of comedy stuff, you have Richard Pryor, who, you know, I have this whole... <sighs> I have this whole DVD set full of Richard Pryor movies. This set comes with Grease Lightning, Moving, The Mac, and Uptown Saturday Night. Moving is probably my favorite out of all these. Um, but the one I have chosen, and it's also got, and the third star of the movie is Red Fox. Now, Red Fox is one of my favorite actors of all time. I love Sanford and Son. I have every single season on DVD. I love that show Sanford that he did in the 90s that DeMond Wilson wasn't in. I, I love that show Sanford. He had that guy named uh, Cal in it. I love that version. I like that. It's sued me. I like that one, Sanford. And then you have Danny Aiello. I know he's a... The only two things I truthfully know Danny Aiello from were Jacob's Ladder and The Stuff. Uh, I, other, I know Danny Aiello is a pretty famous guy, but I never knew him for any, anything else other than The Stuff and Jacob's Ladder. And, other, and I don't know anybody else in this movie, really, so just Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, Red Fox, and Danny Aiello were the only people I knew. And the movie from 1989, which was also directed by Eddie Murphy. You already know what it is because of the title of this. So, i just start by saying this in my review on the movie, Harlem Nights. Um, basically, what you have here with Harlem Nights, it's a comedy about bl blacks, these, a group of these black people running a casino in the 20s with the white cop, Danny Aiello, falsely trying to put him out of business. Um, you got Sugar Ray, which is Richard Pryor, Quick, which is Eddie Murphy, and Snake Eyes, which is Red Fox. Red Fox is the owner of the casino. The movie opens up, you have Eddie Murphy as a little kid, supposedly, getting taken in by Richard Pryor, and they're at, they own this casino, bit my tongue, they own this casino, and the, the opening scene's just like a small gambling scene, you know, the guy, the one of the guys is like, hey man, you gotta get that kid out of there, no kids in here, um, and then the kid, like, he takes a gun and fires into the air or something like that. I don't really remember. I only watched this once. Um, it's called Club Sugar Ray. Then you cut to when Eddie Murphy's an adult. And they're all working in this casino after hours at night. Uh, Snake Eyes, you know, he's one of the... I think he's a craps dealer. I can't, I can't remember. It's why Red Fox always wears these glasses throughout the movie that makes his eyes look really wide. He looks like Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys when he when he's wearing the when he's wearing the glasses like that. Uh, so basically, you have the white cop played by Danny Aiello who's trying to get the people put away. A um, uh, scene that I thought was... That's pretty much the whole plot of it right there. There's not really too much to say about this movie. You know, comedy movies never have as much to a plot as them have, as horror movies. The horror movies always have more twists and turns than comedy movies. You know, I pretty much said the whole plot. A white cop trying to put the black casino out of business back in, like, the 30s. That's pretty much the movie. Uh, some funny scenes in this movie were when you have... You you have this overweight showgirl, and Eddie Murphy tries to beat her up, and I, I, I can't remember exactly what he did. I think he shoots her in the foot, but I can't really remember. She's like, what you gotta do, shoot me in the foot? <laughs> Talking real quick. And he, he shoots her in the foot or something like that. It was, it was hysterical. I love that scene. Any scene with Red Fox I love. I always have I've always loved Sanford and Son since I was really young. 
And then later in the movie, they get these two people in this boxing match or a wrestling match. That oh, it, it was really, really random, but this wrestling match they have towards the end. Uh, Arsenio Hall is also in this movie. His scene, his scene was funny as hell. His scene made me laugh. First of all, you have the scene where Eddie, where uh, Arsenio's Hall, Arsenio Hall's brother gets killed. So him and some of his boys go after Eddie Murphy, and he's cr Arsenio Hall's in the backseat of the car crying for like ten minutes. He's like, they took my brother. <laughs> they took my something like it was hysterical the way he's crying. He's got tears running all over his. And they come into Eddie Murphy. They get into like this car chase, you know, with guns. And Eddie Murphy dives inside the window of this one building. He doesn't even look out the window. He just like pop. He's ducking down and just goes like this. Doesn't even look up. Just randomly shooting three times. And when he looks up, he's shot the three per people that were after him. I just thought that was funny. As I've always liked this movie, Harlem Nights. Um, this movie's close to two hours long. It's 115 minutes. That's good, though. This is a funny movie. I like this movie. Basically, what happens, ending up with Danny Aiello in the end, they, they tie him up and put him in a bank vault and just seal him in there. That's kind of a kind of a lamer ending I don't really get to see what the purpose was it, something a little more comical with him like I, I, I don't really know what but I just thought put, locking him in a bank vault just seemed to seem kind of lame to me I don't know. and then they it pretty much ends with all like Red Fox A. Murphy and Richard Pryor just like looking into the skyline at night I know my other reviews have been all like fifth, over 15 minutes long. Sorry, this one's been a little shorter. All right, see, now the DVD does not really have too many, any special features at all. All it's, the only, the only thing you might even consider a special feature on this DVD is the trailer. Uh, so the trailer is pretty much the only special feature type thing they have on here. Nothing really else. It's an, I got this from Target. Most DVDs that you buy from Target nowadays come in like these sort of covers. And, yeah, this was a good price. I bought this at Target for five bucks. You know, it was good. It was a good price. Yeah, I know my dad's always loved this movie. Red Fox. Some of the scenes. It's funny since he was always, you know, he ne he never violently swore on Sanford and Son. Or Sanford, except for some occasions when he said the N word. But back in the 70s, him saying that on TV was not considered as controversial as it would be today. In this movie, he's like saying all of the more known swear words and stuff. It's funny. It was funny to see Red, Red Fox. I, this is one of Red Fox's last movies. Red Fox, may he rest in peace. He was—he's always been one of my favorite actors. I love Red Fox. Uh, Eddie Murphy's pretty cool in this movie. I, he does an okay job, but I, I can uh, frequently throughout this movie I could imagine the song, you know, party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. I could imagine scenes in the movie where they could have played that song. <laughs> Yeah, since that's a song that Eddie Murphy made with Rick James back in the 80s, you know, par party all the time, party all the time. Uh, I can imagine that's uh, maybe playing in the end credits of the movie. Uh, there were, like, there's, there's another actor in this movie that I knew, but he's only in the movie for five seconds. He plays a gambler at the very, very beginning. His name is Nick Savage. He was the guy in Friday the 13th Part 3, the gangbanger at the end, who got his arm, or his hand cut off. He was the bouncer in Fright Night that got his neck slashed. And then he played Joseph in Day of Atonement. And uh, he's in this movie, but he 
he only appears for like five seconds. He's one of the gamblers at a gambling table. You only see him for five seconds. He he doesn't even have any dialogue. Um, and on Nick Savage's IMDb page, this is his third most known for movie. His first being Fright Night, second being Friday the 13th 3. His third was this. I don't get why he appears for five seconds with no dialogue. And then uh, that he was in something called Clean and Sober, which I never seen or heard of. Back to Harlem Night. So this is a funny movie. If you want a good laugh, you know, this is more targeted for adults. I don't think teens like my age would get this movie. Even if you're an adult, you know, first time seeing this, you might not understand it. You need to watch it a couple times in order to understand it fully. It's rated R. Uh, it's, it was released by Paramount, so that's... I know this review has been very, very short compared to the other ones I've been making. But... You know, Harlem Nights, it's not, you can't really say as much about comedy movies such as this, you know, like you can with horror movies where, you know, it's more happening. Uh, in the very end of the movie, they blow up the casino, you know, which you, you get the picture of that on back of the cover. Oh, tried to flip the case around, but it didn't work. Uh, this is a newer DVD you know, this is a newer print of it. I think the old cover just showed, like, Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor with, like, a white background. I, I like this cover better than the old one. Uh, once again, this was written and directed by Eddie Murphy, and he was uh, Eddie Murphy was also the executive producer. It's 1989. You know, you, you know, if you like Red Fox, or if you were a fan of Sanford or Sanford and Son... I'd give this a watch if you like Richard Pryor. Give this a watch if you know if you're an Eddie Murphy fan. Give this a watch. Uh, you know, even if you're a fan of Danny Aiello, you watch this. He's in this quite a lot. Um, I say the word um a lot, don't I? <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this in my reviews. I'm just, just stuttering for some reason. I get just talking in front of the camera like this. I'm not as professional as some other people you might see on here. I'm thir I'm I'm, I'm going to turn 14 in a couple months. Sue me. I uh, once again the scene with Arsenio Hall crying in the back seat and like the three guys getting shot. You know, that that scene cracked me up harder than most movies I can remember. Uh, so uh Harlem Nights, check it out, people. It's a, it's a, it's a very good comedy. Check it out. If you want a good laugh, if you're a fan of any of those actors I talked about, just watch Harlem Nights. It's classic. It's a classic movie. Everybody should see Harlem Nights. Case closed. All right. Let's see. What should my next movie review be? Screw it. My next movie review for these 2011 revised reviews. My next review is going to be on Maximum Overdrive. Thank you for watching these videos. If you've been watching, if any of you have been watching my videos since when I first joined on December 1st, 2008, you know, kudos to you for watching me this long. Uh, yeah, I know that's back when I did movie reviews too. They were cheesy and they were crappy. <laughs> crappy reviews I used to do back in the sixth grade, but, you know, I enjoy it. My voice is tremendously deep now compared to how it was. Uh, thank you for watching my videos, everybody. You know, I've, I've made over 500, you know, thanks for all the support I'm getting. Hopefully someday I could be a real actor, a director, so. Talk to you guys later. Hope to you check out Harlem Nights.